It's been a while since I last recorded this. Jesus. Today is the 24th. And I'm recording this on the 8th. I last recorded this on the 8th. <laughs> Such a long time ago. Alright, let's continue. Alright, let's recap a bit. Recap a little bit. Okay, what were you talking about? Then I'm having heading back to bed. Make sure you're on guard. Then Yuri. Okay. That part. But I don't know for certain that if that's really her. We will have to wait and see. Try to draw closer to her in order to listen. It's no use. She already stopped talking. I wonder what it was she was saying. Suppose it doesn't really matter to me. I think I'll continue to watch this guy. Will a star really fall? Probably not. I can't say for certain though. What is that? As I look on at the cloud, at the sky, not the cloud, the sky, I see a glowing shape. A streak of light is going across the sky, a great trail of luminous ribbons following. It's enormous too. Almost as if it is swallowing the entire night. One of the old legends. I had read as a child described a serpent which ate the night sky. I can't help but think of that as the golden streak um, coming down towards the earth. As the golden streak comes down towards the earth. As I look in wonder, the streak begins to grow larger and larger. Something is falling from the sky itself. Never happened before. But my eyes do not lie, something is falling. Never before have I seen such a sight. It's burning too. A great flaming star is dropping from the heavens. The entire sky is filled with its light now, as if the sun had appeared in the night sky. My eyes open wide as I recall that noble noble woman's Words. One day, one of the stars will fall. She must have known this was coming. To be honest, it has been two weeks since I recorded this. I can't remember any. I can't remember most of the voices that voices that I used or the characters. But that's up. Uh, that yeah, really sucked. Okay. The very ground beneath me shakes as the star draws closer and closer to the ground. Armor plates and weapon racks begin to rattle too. Wait, what if it hits the capital? Somewhere beyond the city. It's enormous, it's enough to make the entire barracks wake up. Panicked voices echo through the hall, everyone immediately reaching for their own. What was that noise, really? It was a star falling from the heavens. Stop. Can that happen? 
from me before. No, it's true. I've never heard of anything falling from the sky like this before. Is it, is it an omen of some sort? Which I can't say for sure. You know what this means. It was an omen. Panic in the barracks begins to worsen. Arms and armor are being wildly thrown out. It's not long before everyone is standing to attention. We need a hood to get to your bed. Kayra will be walking in here any, at any moment. But I can't tear my eyes away from the sky. A terrible sense of dread fills my entire being. What is going to come of this storm? There's too many questions I don't know the answer to. Please return to your beds. There's nothing to panic about. Many whispers spread among the novices, doubting Kairos' words. How is it not something to worry about? I'm willing to argue with their instructor. Most of the nobles begin to remove their hastily equipped armor and settle back into their, into their beds. Karen notices that I'm standing by the window. Get into bed, really. That's all she has to say before I return to my bunk. I am not satisfied with that, though. I think I'll take a moment to see what Kara is doing in her office. I can't let them panic. Things are bad enough in the city as it is. If our soldiers panic, then there won't be anyone left to keep order. The best of course of action for now is to reassure them that nothing's wrong. That relying to them, but it's necessary. So she's lying to us to stop us from panicking. In order to keep order across the city in case we need to. I think I better look closer at the city then. See what kind of reaction they're having towards the, the star. I look in the city, the reaction is not what I'm expecting. There are people running wild on the streets. The guards are trying their best to keep the populace calm. Now there's nothing to be concerned about, please remain calm. These words do little to pacify the angry mob in front of me. They throw angry accusations at me. All of them demand answers. Yet he has none to offer them, being a lonely soldier. He just slowly backs away, his pole arm pointed at the crowd. Oh, is that, is that legal? <laughs> okay, maybe in the past, but... It's not long before a large angry mob has gathered. I can see numerous guards locking ranks to hold it back. Yet Kira tells us there is nothing to worry about. I would say there definitely is something to worry about. Looks like the city is in a state of panic too. Yet Kira tells us there's nothing wrong. There is something seriously wrong. Can we really just lie here and sleep while the capital is on the brink of chaos? I want to go out there to quell it, but I just know that Kira won't allow me. Fortunately, all I can do is obey her and head back to bed. Well, I'm sure we will have a chance to call it soon. Dots. More dots. Even more dots. Everyone is on edge after the star fell from the heavens. Never before has something fallen from the sky, so everyone has a theory as to what it means. The most 
most popular one is the, the Apocalypse. It's kind of uh, I'm being already here. I don't know any other cities that are still standing. The capital is the only place which has managed to thrive in the blighted wilderness. The last time we heard any news from another city was 10 years ago. Shit. I can't help but think they're gone too. Unless they became isolationist, like us. There might be a chance that it's still thriving. 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 <laughs> My far city can't reach far enough for me to confirm. So, are we already on the edge of destruction? We're probably building our own tomb in a feeble attempt to keep the doctors out. Wall after wall, defense after defense. For all of that, there's something that everyone knows all too well. The capital stands alone against the darkness around it. No matter how mighty it is, it still stands alone. The Empire's strength is, uh, is its entirety, not just its capital. And we have lost nearly everything. Well, <laughs> Personally, I prefer optimism, but I do understand why people are afraid. Well, I do prefer optimism. That's... well, optimism just seems right for Raylene's character, yeah? Let's go for this. Well, that's a really bleak outlook though. I like to be more optimistic then. Without, then we will be consumed by the darkness. I all people should know that we cannot doubt. But it's hard to ignore all the doomsayers who walk through the same streets of the capital. Everyone is afraid. They've been afraid for a very long time. But the falling star brought those fears to the surface. There's been some talk that the council plans to promote novices much earlier than they should do. Soldiers are in guards and around the capital are being stretched thin. More are needed if they are to maintain order. That number of women's words had haunted me since we last spoke too. Did she call that star down from the sky? What do the stars have to do with her? I should talk with Gwen about this. She does know more about history than I do. I thought life, at, life as a soldier would be a lot simpler than this, but it's only become more complicated. I'd love it if all of my problems could be solved just by stabbing a few monsters. It seems that life isn't so simple though. I need to go see, see Gwen today, so there should be a brief moment before I have to leave for guard duty. In fact, I better hurry up and visit her. Let's go! To my surprise, Gwyn wasn't anywhere near her office today. After wandering, I found her standing out in the training grounds. Look, dates, looking dates. Why is she out in the training grounds of all places? Shouldn't she be in her office right now? Um, Gwyn, can I speak with you? When she looks at me, the look on her face says everything. What is it you want, really? Let's actually check if she's okay. I'm kinda concerned, too. Well, Gwen's obviously slip deprived. I should check if she's okay. You didn't get any sleep, did you? It's not like I need to ask that. The top rings around her eyes says that more than enough. None at all. Since that star has fallen, there has been a lot of unrest in the city. The amount of letters being sent back and forth between barracks. It's not I'm taking a rest from it right now. My fingers would snap in half if I had to write another signature. So, what did you need? I could use a distraction. Just thinking about the paper is going to make me pass out. Well, my issue might make you pass out too, so be prepared. 